15 finally in the books heading into week 16 here. Here's a few clickies I've looked at on the wave wire. And it's time is recording this video. All these guys are healthy. No one's out as of, as of now. I know everyone, every hour the update and status of these players change. But right now these guys are good to go. The first kick I looked at this week's Evan McPherson of the Cincinnati Bengals. So right here, I've spoken a lot about McPherson this season. And he's been one of the better kickers in the league, especially as a rookie here. He's got a big boot. He could kick that long field goal. And he's on a pretty productive offense this season as well. So McPherson, the last few games for him. Week 13 versus the Chargers, 4 fantasy points. Week 14 versus San Francisco, 10 fantasy points. And week 15 at Denver, 12 fantasy points. And right here, week 16 a division matchup versus the Baltimore Ravens. I know they give up the 7th least amount of fantasy points to kickers on the season. But right here, McPherson, anything goes with this guy. Like I mentioned, he could kick from 50-plus. This Bengal team, they put up a decent amount of points each and every week, except last week it was a tough one at Denver, but he still had 12 fantasy points in that one. So right here versus a bend but don't break type of Baltimore defense, I think McPherson could have another good game this week. And he's available in 75% of fantasy weeks. He definitely could be a game changer for fantasy owners and definitely a kicker to go out there and get the next kick is Michael Badgley. Of the Indianapolis Colts. So Michael Badgley available in 75% of fantasy leagues. And he's been a good kicker this season here. Filling in for Rodrigo Blankenship. So Badgley over the last few games here for this Colt team. Week 12 versus Tampa Bay 8. Week 13 at Houston 5. And week 15 versus New England 8. So right here each and every week he's pretty much only, almost penciled in to get anywhere from 6 to 8 fantasy points. I know this is a tough matchup here in week 16 at Arizona that gives up the 12th least amount of fantasy points to kickers but right here after the performance that we saw from Arizona losing to Detroit anything goes now and Michael Badgley and this Cole team I think they're going to score a few times I think they're going to be in the red zone a decent amount of times and there's an option to use a kicker he's 16 I think Badgley could have a good ball game and right now like I mentioned he's available in 75 percent of fantasy leagues and he's on a great roster as well, where they score the football a lot is this Colt team. The next kick is Young Hoku of the Atlanta Falcons. So it's been a tough season for the Falcons. But Koo, for the most part, still one of the most accurate kickers in all the NFL here. Last season, he was a top five kicker in fantasy points. But this year, the opportunities just haven't been there for Koo. The last few games for him, Week 13 versus Tampa 4. Week 14 at Carolina 12. And Week 15 at the 49 is 7 fantasy points. But right here... An amazing matchup, obviously, in Week 16 versus the Detroit Lions that give up the most fantasy points to kickers on the season. So right here, who's available in 57% of fantasy leagues? He's got a good matchup. He's a guy that you could count on as long as he's getting opportunities. And in this ball game versus Detroit, I think they're going to have to settle for some field goal attempts. And I think who could be a good option. But right now, he's a great waiver wire option to get this week. The next kick is Brandon McManus. Of the Denver Broncos. So the last few weeks I've mentioned McManus is a pickup. And he's been up and down for fantasy owners. So week 13 at Kansas City 4. Week 14 versus Detroit 10. And week 15 versus Cincinnati only 5 fantasy points. But right here week 16 he's got a great matchup at the Vegas Raiders. That give up the 5th most fantasy points to kickers on the season. So McManus right now he's available in 64% of fantasy weeks. We know he's got a big boot. And the other good thing here for him, it's an indoor game in Vegas as well. Because the weather in Denver, you know how it goes. It gets windy, starts snowing this time of season. And the, the field is just in bad condi condition. So with him going indoors this week here at a rated team that gives up a lot of fantasy points to kickers. I think he's a decent pickup this week. And the fifth and final kicker I look to get Dustin Hopkins of the Los Angeles Chargers. So we're staying here. In the AFC West. And Hopkins this season. He's been pretty decent. The Washington football team in my opinion. Should have never got rid of him. And ever since they got rid of Hopkins. They've been on two different kickers. Is Washington. But anyway here the last few games for Hopkins. Week 13 at Cincinnati 10. Week 14 versus the Giants 11. And week 15. In a ball game where honestly. He could add 10 or 11 fantasy points easily. But the Chargers, four or five times, they passed up field goal opportunities. And it came back and bit him at the end versus the Chiefs, where he only had four fantasy points. So right here, 
week 16 at the Texans. Texans give up the 17th most fantasy points to kickers on the season. And the thing is here, the Texans don't stop anyone. The Chargers, in my opinion, they're going to be in the red zone early and often in this game. Another dome game, which is good as well. And Hopkins, like I mentioned, he's been one of the better kickers over the last few seasons. And it was just puzzling to me that Washington got rid of him. But anyway, he's a decent ad this week. And he's available in 70% of fantasy leagues. So that's a few kickers I look to get on the waiver wire here for week 16 of the fantasy football season.